Okay, this is a brief lesson on using coordinating conjunctions or fanboys. Just to remind ourselves, fanboys or coordinating conjunctions, their job is to join two or more independent clauses. An independent clause is a subject and a verb at least. It could be subject, subject, verb, subject, verb, verb, but it's a subject with a verb, a simple sentence. Let's look at a couple examples here. Uh, we can say, I ate pizza, Jane ate a burger. Each of these is a simple sentence. It's this independent clause because it has a subject and a verb. Let's revisit our coordinating conjunctions are fanboys. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. For this lesson, we're going to focus on for and so. Okay. So for. For is like because. It's very similar to because, actually. Let's look at a sentence. I go to the library, subject, verb, comma, for, I like to read. Now, what this is telling us is that sentence, or independent clause B, is the reason independent clause A happens. Okay, so A is the reason, or excuse me, B is the reason for A happening. It's like if I said, I go to the library because I like to read. I could say that sentence is the exact same meaning. So basically, if you can kind of put because in a sentence in the middle here, you can usually use for the same way, but you need that comma. Now let's look at so. Notice how they're, they're very similar, except for so is telling us an effect of something. Well, let's see what this means. Here we have this, a similar sentence, right? The first sentence said, I go to the library for I like to read. This sentence says, I like to read, comma, Coordinating conjunction, fanboy. So, I go to the library. It's the same exact meaning, but notice, now we've changed the first sentence. A is the reason for B happening. So, for and so are pretty much the same thing. It's just they are flip-flopped. This is how I like to think of so and for. I have four. If I want to use so, I can't just substitute it directly because it'll be backwards. So I need to flip the sentence, and now I can use so. But if I want to use for, again, I can't use it because it's backwards. I have to flip my sentences to use for. Okay, so this is our, again, for. And so, the coordinating conjunction. 